All right, let's look at these exercises. Uh, so for exercise 1A, uh, if we're finding the domain and range of this guy here, remember it's the same as 1 over x, uh, you're not allowed to have x equals 0 in the denominator of a fraction, so the domain is everything other than 0. The range is going to be uh, all values of y other than 0. Uh, so I'm just going to write that as f of x is not 0. You could also write y is not 0. It's the same thing. Uh, okay, so how about g of x is x squared? So the domain, the set of x values you're allowed to plug in, could be anything. Uh, you're allowed to multiply any number by itself. So the domain is all real numbers. The range is going to be only positive numbers. Or zero. So, no, because no matter what x is, when you square it, you're going to get a result greater or equal to zero. x to the one half in part c is the same as the square root of x. You can draw a little 2 there if you want to show to see where, what happened to the 2. So that's a square root, and you're only allowed to take square roots of positive numbers or 0. So the domain is x is greater or equal to 0, and the range, you're only going to get positive numbers or 0 out. So the range is h of x is greater or equal to 0, too. Okay, so hopefully you got that. If you did, give yourself a pat on the back. Let's look at exercise two. We're given that the value V of a car that is A years old is given by this formula here. Let's find the domain and range of this. So uh, the trick is that V and A cannot be negative. V can't be negative because that, if V is negative, that means that you have a car that's worth like negative dollars. That doesn't really make sense. Um, and A can't be negative because that would be like, if it's negative five years old, that would mean five years before it was bought when maybe the car didn't exist yet. So, okay, so, uh, so yeah, so A cannot be negative means that that basically describes the domain. Um, But is that all? Does that completely describe the domain? It looks like this is going down. Uh, so, like, if you're going to graph this function and you plug in a equals zero, you're going to get eighteen thousand, and it's going to have a slope of negative three thousand. So it's a straight line, and at some point here, it's going to cross. Uh, and where is that going to happen? Well, if you want to find that a intercept, we're going to solve this for a. Let's plug in f of a equals 0 at this point and see what a is. And the reason we need this is because after that point, the value becomes negative. Uh, and if the value is negative, then that doesn't make sense either. So if we solve this equation, you add the 3,000 to both sides, divide everything by, uh, by 3,000, you'll get a is equal to 6. And so that means after uh, year 6, the, the value becomes 0. So, so you also have to have a is less than or equal to 6. So the domain, really, I would write as a is um, in between 6 and 0 this way. And so, yeah, that's all of these coordinates here. Now, the range is the set of y coordinates that you get. So, if a is less than 0, you would get values greater than 18,000, but that's not how it works. We're only allowed to have a between 0 and 6, so the values of the car are all between 
18,000 So it's kind of a slightly tricky problem. Uh, you might have not noticed that weird thing there. So now you see it. It's a good thing you're checking your answers. Um, anyway, let's look at exercise three. Let's find the domain and range of each of these functions. Uh, so let's see. Uh, 3a you might be able to do by analyzing the structure, knowing that x squared is always positive. So this is in the form of 2 minus a positive number. So that will show you that the range is always going to be less than or equal to 2. Um, but then the domain uh, is any real number, because you're allowed to square any real number. You could also get this from a graph, and that's fine. Okay, how about this one right here? Um, 100 minus 2 to the power negative uh, x squared. So this is something that you're going to have a hard time analyzing the algebraic structure of it. You might be able to think through it, but I guess it's probably better to go to Desmos here. and plugging it in. All right, so here is this graph. One thing I notice about it is that there are no negative y-coordinates. The y-coordinates start at zero and go up from there. Uh, now let's see, does it have a maximum y-coordinate? It does. You can see that that happens at uh, at x equals 0, you get y is 100. So the range is going to be just the y coordinates 0 to 100. The domain, however, is all real numbers. You're allowed to take any number and square it. That's always fine. Make it negative. That's fine. Um, 2 to any power always works. So all of that stuff is allowed. So The range is just y between 0 and 100. All right, so that's section 5.1. Um, we're going to look at these topics in a little bit more detail in chapter 6 with various kinds of functions. Mostly this is something that is going to be used a lot in trigonometry and calculus and pre-calculus and other math classes if you, as you go down that route. So anyways, I'll talk to you in the next video. Have a good day.